Sachit Ananda, uh, let's talk about CDs. Let, let, let's let's further this discussion about what you what you, what you brilliantly and 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 limpidly uh, describe as a challenge to maintain this state of uh, of uh, freeness of uh, pure consciousness of samadhi. Uh, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, in in the reading of the Yogananda story, the autobiography of Yogi, uh, we 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 read the story of this man who encounters many saints, and some people, some searchers, might want to gain spiritual powers called called CDs. Whereas what I understand of the uh, Kriya Yoga lineage that you are teaching and initiating people with is that you go beyond those CDs. And, and correct me if I'm wrong, uh, it is not a purpose to gain those CD power. They could be a trap for the ego and get stuck in certain aspects of our life, tell us about how can we go beyond this this uh, this this attraction for cities and really maintain this state of consciousness we call samadhi. Yeah, that, that's c correct. What you said. Um, there's a very simple way, and that is to ask yourself, who wants cities? Who wants to be special? Who wants to have special experiences, right? And the <clears throat> there's a long answer and a short answer. The um, the sh the short answer is um, the ego, right? And as long as you're identified with the ego, that I'm the body. Let me just say that the ego is the habit of identifying with desires, thoughts, emotions, the physical body, right? So as long as you're identified with that habit of identifying with these movements of the mind in the, in the vital body, um, you remain in a, in a very limited perspective, right? And um, the long answer is no one. There's actually no one who uh, wants those powers. Uh, we often say that the spiritual path begins when, you're, when you are ready to be no one special, to have, to have no special experience. Because mm. specialness means because specialness means you are separate or above or better than others. And um, unfortunately, many uh, seekers in the beginning in particular, they try to put their teachers into a special place, like uh, on a pedestal. And uh, if the teacher isn't careful, he allows himself to be put in this special place, and it, it leads to the downfall of both of them because they get into this sort of dualistic perspective of being special and they forget that actually we are all the ocean the ocean of being of oneness so the cities are a byproduct of one's progressive perfection um, if spiritual spiritual development existed only in the spiritual plane of existence we, you would be referred to as a saint it's one who sees the presence of the Lord everywhere and has communion with the Lord. But as the Siddhas uh, surrendered progressively egoism, they realized that there was some, they, that perfection could not exist in a diseased body or a neurotic mind. So they began to uh, surrender even at the intellectual plane where they became sages, in the mental plane where they, they surrendered their personal desires and uh, limitations of the, of the mind and developed these powers of the mind, which are latent in most of us, such as clairvoyance and clairaudience, and as they surrendered even uh, in the vital plane, where the, usually the vital plane is the, the dimension where we have only emotions and desires, as they surrendered those emotions and desires, the power of the vital body began to manifest um, the will of their higher uh, uh, creative intelligence and not their ego, but what Aurobindo called the psychic being, the voice of the soul, might at some time create what we would refer to as miracles or manifestations. 
and finally to surrender at the physical plane level of their being. The cells of the body gave up their limit of ag agenda of simply reproducing and surviving and um, manifested in vulnerability. And this is what the great cities like Babaji have been able to manifest. Now, of course, they are, are you might say, the spear head of our human evolution. Um, and as such, they uh, are not our saviors. They are more than anything a kind of precursor that is a leading edge of what our potential uh, as humans are. And we encourage people to read and study uh, the works of Sri Aurobindo, who uh, was one of the few people in modern times who was able to uh, really appreciate what the Siddhas had done individually. Um, Aurobindo aspired to have this uh, perfection in all five bodies um, occur throughout humanity. And uh, our most recent publication is, is called, in French, Comment pratiquer le yoga intégral de Sri Aurobindo. It's a wonderful book, which uh, is yoga, which doesn't emphasize techniques, but it emphasizes three basic principles of aspiration, aspiration to reunite one's soul, with that of the Lord, rejection of all that resists from the ego, and surrender, surrender uh, to, to the Lord, surrender to our highest faculties and highest creative intelligence. Mm -hmm. So cities are <clears throat> merely a byproduct <clears throat> which may occur <clears throat> or which may not occur uh, <clears throat> as one progressively surrenders. And they are not to be something which is sought after or... Uh, they're not the end-all, be-all. They're simply uh, manifestations of a progressive perfection of our human nature and, and its potential. Mm -hmm.